Hey guys, it's Shijipoki here. Today, I'm going to walk you through and analyze the game that ended my 160 win streak on Myers and Dead Light. Now, I will say this game was a mixture of mistakes, bad RNG, and just good survivor gameplay. All three of those factors, plus some midwitchery, really, really set us up for a loss. Anyways, guys, let's get straight into it. Okay. They sent us here, didn't they? Why would you send me here? Why? Jake, thank you so much for the follow, by the way. I appreciate it. I do. I really do. Oh, okay, dude. How sharp is the knife? Um, not extremely sharp. It's sharp enough to, like, cut a hole in an outfit or like, uh, some cloth because that's what I use to cut holes. Alright, well, while I'm talking about knives in game, I'm going to voice over what my actual strategy is with our win streak and how we even got it so far. Our main strategy off the start of the game is to find people and get as close as we possibly can to them to get as much stock as possible. Tearing up out of tier 1 is crucial unless you want to try to get a grab or two, which can be nice but also does waste time and potential later on. What gen are they on dude? Surely there's like one or two of them on gen right now, right? And as you can see here, I didn't pursue the Rebecca or the Dwight because I needed to go check on the gen that was likely to be completed soon or have a lot of progress. In doing so, we create pressure throughout the entire map and not just on one or two people at a time. The significance of this is that we can attack someone, catch them off guard while we're 99 with tier 2, so we can get a much quicker down instead of going through a full chase. Uh, it'll save us a lot of time and also give us our first skirt hook to pair with Pain Residence and Dead Man's Switch to lock up that first gen before it even pops. Ah! Rookie mistake! It's okay, that, the game does that sometimes. You don't spare Leon, you don't get to spare Rebecca. What? Now this is a classic midwitch moment. These survivors brought this map, though they could not decide the RNG, there was only two hooks on the first floor, and lucky for us, they were far enough away where this Rebecca wasn't going to get hooked, and even worse, we don't get our first Scourge Hook Dead Man's Switch value, therefore the survivors get their first gen or even two off the start. At this point, I will also make my first major mistake of the game. At this point, I should have hooked Rebecca Basement, however, I didn't notice it since it was practically right below us, and my eyes were set on a Scourge Hook since that is what we need to stop this first gen from being completed. Uh, you're gatekeeping. Uh, Why kill? Uh, Why is it no hooks? Uh, ah! Uh, what is this? Uh, There's three hooks! Uh, uh, There's three hooks! In the whole map! Bro! Hello? How is that allowed? How? What the f- What the fuck? There's- There's two hooks on that side of the map! Hello? No, that's throwing. That's actually throwing the whole game. That's insane. That's insane. There's no way. It should not be allowed. <laughs> Jesus Christ. As you can see, we immediately lost a gen because we didn't get a skirt hook. If we were to make a skirt hook there, that gen would have been stopped. It would have lost 15% progress and most likely hit with dead man switch for another 45 seconds. That's actually throwing the whole game. That's throwing the whole game. That's insanely broken. That is insanely broken. Map RNG is gonna actually kill us, dude. That's Map RNG is gonna kill us. For what? For what? I'm camping him. Screw this. Here's a small pro tip. If you want to win games, don't lose your cool. Like I did. It's one of those trends, but no. RNG's like, ha, ah, no. That's, that's insane. Someone fell down. I'm gonna try to tier 3 if someone goes for the saver real quick. Did he just leave? Actually, no.
you would have life. Piss off, dude. The reason I swung at that is because I did not see the lithe in time, and Myers does have a pretty nice lunge around pallets. I'm, I'm actually mad. This is so dumb. I ain't in a bad spot, though. Be fine, I'm just mad. He's gonna throw a million pallets. In most games, a survivor like this, who just gives us a million free pallets, is actually really good for us, and we will take this all day long. However, due to our lack of pressure at the start of the match, they already had a lot of progress on gens, so pre dropping was the correct move in this situation. He went back. I need to just go to the gens, dude. Is that Dwight, buddy, you're the one on death hook. Actually, no, you're on second hook. And you're the one on stock faster. Okay. This is Jol this is Jolene's fault. Yes. Look at this though. There's zero hooks on the entire freaking map. Oh my god, dude. At least we get this one. But Jesus Christ, dude. Where are the scorchers even at? Are they upstairs? All of them? There's a whole hallway on this side of the map that has zero hooks total. Zero. There's nothing. That whole hallway. Zero. How, how, how am I supposed to play around that? What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do about that? You know? Nothing. There's literally nothing I can do about that. Oh, no way. He actually faked that. Nay. I need to break it, dude. I need to break it. He throws so many pallets. I just need to check in the chat. Okay, I need Dwight. I need Dwight. I need Dwight. Screw everyone else. Dwight has to die. Just like in most win streaks, tunneling is very effective in competitive gameplay. Almost our only option at this point besides slugging, and I don't think slugging would be possible due to the sheer amount of pallets that they still had up at this point. Rebecca. Rebecca. Holy crap, Rebecca. You're lagging too. You're lagging bad. I will kick this. I have to kick this. Oh my god, please give me Pentimento. Please give me Pentimento, dude. Please. And thank you. I I need that so bad. Oh my god, this game is rough. Thank you. Alright, it's time to look at some data here. We are roughly six minutes into the match. They have done four gens. I have gotten two Scourge hooks. And I have zero stacks of Pentimento due to the lack of hooks and terrible start. Okay, how far did you go? You should have dropped that, I'm pretty sure. Ah, uh, that's my bad. Mm. Second your part though. No way she's balanced. There's so many pallets, dude. They got such a good lineup here. That's unfortunate. All the pallets over here should be thrown. If I'm lucky. No way. No way, God Pellet's still up. Oh. Piss off, dude. 
This is a this is a rough game, dude. I want to be a better start here. You healed! They all have medkits. Yeah, that's a rip. That's a fatty rip. I can't, I shouldn't even go for her. No. That's not who I need to go for. That's not who I need to go for. I need Dwight. I need Dwight. I need Dwight. Ah! Yes! Piss off! Give me that! There's no hooks, but still, I don't care. Jesus Christ. Ugh. I, just, I still think we lose this completely, but... Oh, man, dude. What an awful game. Hold on. Mm. Yeah, we lose this. Rip streak. Ugh. Ah, oh, it was a good run, guys. For those of you that made it far in this video, I want to thank you for following us along. And for those of you who were there for the win streak, I appreciate you all. It is unfortunate that we ended it before our goal of 200. However, I'm very proud of it. I think that game, we made many mistakes, and it was far from perfect. Uh, brewing that in with a good survivor group and some bad RNG, and we find ourselves a loss at game 161. Though I'm not going to go too deep into analyzing anything else, I will be making some videos on Myers builds if anyone is interested. We will still be playing Myers and Mini Myers on our stream over at twitch.tv slash jjpokey. I do apologize for the short video as well. I am very short on time at the moment. I have a lot of school and sports and everything's going on. I will try my best to get some more Scratch Mirror videos out soon since we are no longer participating in an active win streak. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys sometime soon.